Hey guys, this is Gwydion, and this video is being recorded to show you how to use your iPad or even your iPhone to control Sirenscape and really kind of remove it from your desktop when you're streaming. Now, it's a pretty specific video because in my case, I stream on Twitch and I always use Fantasy Grounds, which is obviously the program you see in front of you. But I find myself using Fantasy Grounds on my main monitor, which is what I'm recording right now, this screen. But on my laptop, I've got Ableton Live Lite. I've got the internet up. I've got OBS up. I've got Sirenscape. So I have so many programs. So I was looking for a way to offload Sirenscape. So when I wanted to create a certain mood, I can just have my iPad up and click on the mood, find it, play it, and have that um, go out to the stream and my players. So, um, I, I wasn't able to find a way to stream my iPad through Bluetooth directly to my PC in Windows 10. I believe that's just a limitation. Um, but I was able to find a program called Airfoil by Rogue Amoeba. So basically what you'll need to, to do what I'm doing and use Sirenscape to stream um, directly to your PC, you're going to need the desktop player for Sirenscape downloaded on your iPad and then you're gonna to need to buy a program called Airfoil by Rogue Amoeba. So, let me get into this and show you what that looks like. So, this is the site, it's rogueamoeba.com backslash airfoil, and you're gonna be looking for, at least in my case, the Windows version. You can download that for free, and it's a trial that uh, essentially after you play with it for about 10 minutes, if you're broadcasting audio, it's gonna start giving you a loud buzzing sound. So you can do it in 10 minute increments to see if it's gonna work for you. Uh, but then after that, it's gonna give you a loud buzzing sound. So there's some good information here. And you're gonna basically wanna download Airfoil for Windows. And that's gonna download bo both a satellite program, uh, sorry, down here, a satellite program, in addition to the Airfoil program. So, um, I'm going to show you what that looks like. So, unfortunately, I can't broadcast my iPad. I, I was having a hard time being able to, to show you how the Sirenscape plays through voice meter. So, I didn't, um, I, I was having a hard time doing that and at the same time screen sharing my iPad. So, I, I just decided to show you that there is a... Uh, a program and I'll put this link in the YouTube video as well but this kind of explains the process of what happens once you download airfoil so when you download airfoil essentially you're gonna launch it on your PC so let me kind of pop over that for a second pop over to my screen and what that looks like I will get rid of fantasy grounds for the moment Let me get rid of that altogether. I don't really need to show that. So you downfoil air, download Airfoil, you launch it. So you double click if on your shortcut, and then you're also going to launch your satellite. Let me just pull that up for you. So you're going to have these two programs. Really, all we're mainly focused on is the Airfoil satellite. Okay, so when once you have those up and running, and you have your iPad up and running, and launch the Sirenscape player. And then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna, if it's an iPad, then you, you might need to double click to bring up the control panel, but you're gonna see something like this right here. And you're gonna look for your PC, whatever it's named, and you're gonna click on that to actually sync up your iOS device, your iPad or your iPhone directly with your PC. And then you're going to see something like this where it's actually playing on your PC. So let me show you what that looks like. So in my case, I've got Airfoil here, and this is mainly used to broadcast the stream of your iPad somewhere else, um, somewhere else in your house if you want. But all I'm doing is trying to get the sound on my stream. So I've got everything set up now. I've got the sync connected. So now I'm going to play a tension track from my iPad. You can start seeing the sound going already and I'm going to pull up voice meter to show you. So I've got it coming through here where it says SC iPad. I've got it coming through that um, hardware input on my voice meter banana. You can change that. So if I right click on the airfoil satellite preferences, I can change it here 
I'm not going to do that while it's playing because I think it's going to screw up. But here are all my drivers, but I've got it going through voice meter aux. Now, what's cool about that is in addition to having that on my iPad, so I'm going to play a sound here, a sad trombone. So one shot. So that's coming off my iPad. Now, I've also got a version of Sirenscape up on my computer. So I'm going to do a force missile, and then I'm going to show you that's going to be coming through cable B. So that is actually coming through cable B. The reason I show that to you is I'm going to leave Sirenscape up in the background for me on my PC because I have all of the Deluxe Oz um, sound, uh, or I should say the sound extension to where all those automated chat sounds will just come automatically. I don't have to touch them. But then when I want to control my moods, I will do it right off of my iPad. And that's what you're hearing. So if I change the mood to maybe a combat mood, there is a latency of, I think, about two or three seconds. But given I'm just going to be using my iPad to uh, broadcast Sirenscape for the moods, that works just fine for me. So if I want, I can either minimize or even... I'd probably just minimize airfoil. Then you can close this. and It'll just go to your system tray. So I will turn that down a little bit. But that's it. So again, kind of a short video, not one of my most professional videos, but just wanted to show those of you who want to do something this unique, and this is a little bit different, certainly. But again, if you want to use your iPad as kind of another screen, so you're not searching for Sirenscape flipping through the moods while you're streaming, to me, I think this is going to be a pretty cool option, and I will probably isolate that onto its own input. So that's it for this video. Um, hope this helps a, a few of you that are, that are interested. And until, until next time, I hope to see many of you on the Fantasy Grounds forums.